The purpose of this exercise is to insert a sequence of still images from a video into PowerPoint, a sequence of PowerPoint slides, so that the attorney can play the video forwards or backwards and control the speed of the sequence of frames, and also could print out the sequence of frames from the video. To do this, uh, we are going to be using a video that I've already launched, and I've already launched PowerPoint. Let me show you the video. This is it here. A man is going to get off this motorcycle and push the stuck van across the tracks so it does not get hit by a train that's going to come down this way. And then he's going to run back across the tracks and almost get hit by the train, uh, but to safety. So we want a sequence of still images of the man getting off the cycle, running to the van, pushing it, and then coming back. And we want to pause the video at various points and then grab that frame into PowerPoint. So I've set up my video. It's ready to go. This video is downloadable from our course website or from Blackboard. And you'll see that instruction as to how to download that on our course website. So I've got this video queued up and ready to go in a video player. I also have PowerPoint ready to go, except I do need a sequence of still, uh, still slides. So I'm going to click on that slide, which is blank, and then Control D and make about 20 still, I mean, uh, slides, 20 slides. I'm going to move back to slide number one. And now I'm going to um, make sure my video is paused on this frame. That's good. Man's on the motorcycle. I want that to be the first image and the first slide. I go back to PowerPoint. I go to Insert. And now this is the screenshot icon, but don't click there yet. See that little arrow? Click on that arrow. Make sure that this is the video that uh, the frame is showing up. You could have other uh, open applications. It could be showing up over here. You don't want those to show. Um, you want, I mean, you don't want those with focus. You want to have your focus on this video. Go down to screen clipping, and it'll take you to the video with a crosshair. Hold down your left mouse button to um, encompass the whole area that includes this frame, and then let go. Notice it brought the frame right back into PowerPoint. Now I go to um, slide number two, go back to my video, play it briefly until the man sees that the van is stuck. He starts to get off. Here he is off the motorcycle. I want that uh, individual frame, so I paused it. I go back into PowerPoint, make sure I have a new slide selected, go back to Insert, uh, the little arrow under Screenshot, I click there, and come down to Screen Clipping. It'll give me my crosshairs. I hold my left mouse button down and encompass that area, and do the same thing again. I go to the next slide, go to my video, play it briefly, pause it, go back to PowerPoint, insert, screenshot, screen clipping, use my left mouse button to drag that crosshair to encompass the area, go back to another blank slide, go back to the video, play it briefly, there he is pushing the van. I want that. So I go back to PowerPoint. I go back to Insert, Screenshot, Screen Clipping. And you get the idea of how this goes. So I'm going to continue doing this for about 20 different slides, 20 different still frames in my video. I'm going to play it again just to move it forward more. There he's got the van across and he's starting to run back. I'm going to go ahead and go back into PowerPoint and grab that frame. Go to the next slide. Go back to my video. 
play it briefly. There he is right on the track. Maybe that's better. I like that one. And by the way, if you say, think you went too far um, and you need to go backwards a little bit, you can grab this little toggle and move it uh, backwards in the video to the point where you think you want to be. And then play it and pause it again. So that's a good one. Go back and get that. Insert. Screenshot. Screen clipping. Get my crosshair. Grab that frame. I'm going to just do one more. You should have about 20 so that the sequence that you can play will be a little smoother than what you see I am doing here. I'm going to go back to my video. Play it. And there he is. He just escaped from danger. I'm going to uh, go ahead and insert that screenshot, screen clipping, and clip that into my video. So there I go. Now I have the sequence. Now this is what it looks like. I'm going to click on my first slide, go to slideshow from beginning. I'm going to use my down arrow key to move one frame at a time and then move backwards by the up arrow key. So you can see I can reverse the video and move forwards because I have these individual frames. So that's your assignment. And once you um, get that done, save it and uh, email it to me. Thank you very much.